Hey guys, so today we will be making sunrise alarm for LED and also alarm system like for example how the sun rises in the morning like from brightness 0 to brightness 100 so that's what we will do using smooth code using a simple LED and also we will make an evening alarm when the shift ends so yeah let's start making it first we will use an on start node then we will use a Wi-Fi node to connect to the Wi-Fi just add the Wi-Fi name Click done. Also to remove that triangle we will just click add here and click done and now we will use the SNTP node SNTP connected done and then to light the SNTP uh, server takes a little time to connect to the smoke core to the code so we will use the delay node to give it some time so that it can connect itself to the ESP32 we will set it as, we will set it as 10 seconds click done and now type RTC that time zone IST 530 yeah that's correct just connect it now we will be making the alarm system for evening so yeah drag and drop the on, on interval node set it as 1.5 seconds click done then get the timestamp from the internet RTC get time RTC get timestamp now we have the time minutes seconds hours everything click done now we'll, we will be checking now we will be checking the output using the display node now we will be using the if else node connected we will be adding a global variable hours is equal to 0 and minutes to 0 yes it's done and now we will be using the ifs node to check hours if hours is equal to 17 that means 5 pm and one more if node connect the if dot to the if to the another if node minutes and if minutes is equal to 30 and also if seconds 
must be less than 6 so that the alarm doesn't bus for the whole minute we just want it to bus for 5, 5 or 6 seconds so we'll be using if seconds less than 6 then pin right we will use the pin right node to turn on the LED to blink the LED for the alarm pin to 1 and we will use the sound node to turn on the speaker sound 650 hertz here yeah, right output pin will be 4 add and the switch will be turned on and connect it and then we will use delay set it as 0.5 now we will turn off the LED we will use using the pin right now set it as logic 0 that means 0 volts that means the LED will turn off connect it now again use the sound node copy paste and turn it off turn off correct connect it Then again use the delay node, copy it, paste it. Then copy these two nodes that are the on nodes for LED and the speaker. Connect it. Yes, then LED will turn on, speaker will turn on. After 0.5 seconds, LED will turn off and the speaker will turn off. And after 0.5 seconds, again the LED will be turned on and the speaker will be turned on. And this process will continue every 1.5 seconds. So the sound and LED part is done. Now we will be taking the else as just take the sound node connect it to else and turn off turn the speaker off ok this flow is done now we want the timestamp on the LCD so we will be using on interval node of 1 seconds yeah that's 1 second now we will be using RTC get, time, get timestamp paste it connect the flow and just take the LCD node LCD print connect it double click on it and start typing time So yeah, just check it, time plus hours the variable, colon plus minutes plus colon plus seconds, it's done, click on done, and 
and then now we will be controlling the brightness of the LED according to the sunrise. So let's take the on interval node, set it to 30 seconds. The LED will be will go from zero brightness to 100 brightness in 30 seconds. And then we will be using the RTC get timestamp. Copy the previous one and paste it. Connect the flow and then use the if else node if if hours is equal to six then we will be using a for loop for initial value zero condition i less than equal to 255 increment i plus plus done now take the dac node connect it set it as output type constant voltage set value as i and DAC configuration pin number 25 correct just make sure to set the value as I and click done and then give the delay of zero point one second and connect it and use the loop end so that we can end the for loop now we will be using another if else node if connect the else condition of this node to this and check if hours is more than 6 that is 6 am hours in more than 6 then check if hours is less than 19 that means 7 pm of evening if they are if, if, if it is more than 6 am and less than 9 uh, and, and if it is less than 7 pm that means it is daytime so for that we will Use the DAC node to make the LED, LED, LED turn on. Make it 255. That means the highest value. Then in the flow. And check the if. If hours is equal to 19 that means evening if ours is equal to 19 then we will be again using the for loop just paste it and connect the flow with the if dot and make the condition as more than equal to 150 because 150 is the minimum value of turning the LED off and decrement it initial value 255 so that the LED goes from on to off now use the DAC node set it as I Check the GPIO as, GPIO as 25, set value as I and provide the delay again of 0.1 copy paste and again end the loop, end the for loop.
we will be using another on interval on interval LCD LCD print connect it sunrise 6 a.m. Give the delay of 5.6 seconds. First, uh, make the on interval as 17. Give the delay as 5.6. 5.6. Copy the LCD print node and make it shift end six pm and click done and again provide the delay first call the previous one and then copy the DJ, paste it and connect it and then again copy the LCD print node delete the previous one and type sunset seven pm. Connect the delay to LCD print and check the flow once again. On interval, get timestamp else and if. Check this part once again. Not this one, this one for loop part. Because we are we are decrementing this. So this part needs to be taken care of. Initial value 255, correct. Condition must be I more than I. 150 I must be less than more than 150 and equal to 150 I decrement so yeah that's correct delay loop and yeah everything is done so let's upload our code It's verified that that, that means there are no errors. Now it's getting uploaded to the ESP32. Okay, so our code is uploaded. So as we can see that the LED is turning on from 0 to 255 in a smooth way. And also we can see the alarm going on when the shift ends that means 5.30 pm and also we can see the real time also one thing set this as line number 0 and set these three as line number 1 so that we can see these three sentences on the bottom line of the LCD and time we can see on the upper line upload it again so according to the code at the start of the execution of the code my file will be started and then delay after after 10 seconds time zone will time zone will be connected from the SNTP pool on an interval of 1.5 seconds the cycle will repeat 
RTC will get the timestamp. It will check if the hours is 17 or not, and the minutes are 30 or not, and if the seconds are less than 6 or not. And then the alarm will turn on, LED will glow, speaker will turn on. After 0.5 seconds, LED will turn will get turned off, and the speaker will get turned off. And after 0.5 seconds, the same process repeats. The LED will be turned on, and the um, sound will be turned on. And this to display the real time we, we are using on Google one second RTC get timestamp LT print and for adjusting the brightness we will be using on interval 30 seconds the brightness will be increased from this to this in 30 seconds so on interval 30 seconds RTC get timestamp this hours is equal to 6 that means the sunrise time then we will use the for loop to increase the brightness and if it is more than 6 and less than 19 that means the afternoon time or the morning time then the DAC will be set to 255 that means the highest value and then if hours is equal to 19 it will decrement that is that will the LED will go off like the sun and to print the timings we are printing it at line number one so yeah thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one